one. Hello, I'm Graham and I hope everyone's having a great day and welcome to this video. Now in this particular video I've got a Panasonic Lumix TZ20. I think that's the ZS10 in the American market. Now this one has a sticking lens shutter. You might just be able to see from the image now that there is a gap between the shutter and sometimes when you turn this camera on the shutters don't open uh, all the way. So if I just turn that on, now they have opened, if I'm trying to close it Again, the shutters aren't closing correctly, so that's allowing dust to get into the lens. Now, it's a fairly easy procedure to actually strip this lens shutter down and clean it. And that's what I'm showing you in today's video. Now, the tools you'll need are a small flat bladed jeweler screwdriver, a pair of tweezers, a sharp knife, and that can be a craft knife or a, a scalpel, and a brush just to clean out any debris from the lens shutters. And when you come to reassemble this, you might want to use some double-sided tape or, as I've been using recently, glue dots to be able to uh, adhere things together again. So let's start the procedure of removing the lens shutter from this camera. Now, what I like to do is to turn on the camera so the lens extends and then remove the battery. So now the lens will stay extended and there's no danger that after the uh, economy period the lens will try to retract. So we've now got the battery removed and what we're going to do is to remove the bezel from the front of this lens. Now this bezel appears on the TZ6, uh, 7, uh, the TZ65, the TZ10 and the TZ20. And it's that bezel we're going to remove to gain access to the lens shutter. Now to remove that bezel it needs you to use a scalpel to go underneath the plastic lip and the edge of the aluminium bezel and the bezel is held on by some sticky tape, double sided sticky tape and it's that tape that we have to break in order to be able to remove this lens bezel. So what you need to do is just take the tip of your scalpel and just run it underneath that aluminium fascia to break that double-sided adhesive tape that's underneath there. So taking the scalpel all the way around that lens barrel. Right, now I've been around the whole of the periphery of that aluminium bezel and now I should be able to just pry it up and release it from the double sided tape. Right so that is the bezel removed. Now to remove the lens shutter we need to remove this plastic component here at the front of the lens and it's held in place by three little clips. Now we need to remove those clips and the best way to do that is to use a flat bladed screwdriver and just go in the back of the clip and lift it off its post. And the third one. And now we can remove the lens shutter. Now it will only go back one way, but it's worth looking to see if there's any identification marks. And here's the serial number on the top of the lens shutter, and that's to the top of the camera. So it's worth remembering that, and you can then get the orientation correct. So we'll remove the lens shutter and just put the camera to one side. Now if I turn the lens shutter over, and if I zoom in a little bit, so this is the actual lens shutter assembly. And if you notice here on the assembly is a plastic peg and that is driven by a cam with inside the lens assembly. So as the lens retracts, it turns this peg to the right hand side, which then closes the shutter. And as the lens extends, that cam drives back and that peg moves back anti-clockwise and allows the shutter to open. Now, as I'm operating this, I'm actually seeing some debris coming out of the lens shutter. You might be able to see it here on the table. So it looks as though this has been 
um, in some sand or something like that which has uh, got in between the blades in the tracks that these run in. Now you can fully disassemble this and it means uh, just removing these two springs on either side and if you turn this peg completely uh, clockwise at the end of the track there's a notch which allows you to take it off the assembly. In this case I don't think I'm going to need to remove the whole of the shutter assembly. Um, I'm going to try and brush it out from the front and rear of the assembly. So if I turn the shutters in and then I use my soft camel hair brush I'm going to try and brush anything from within the track out of the assembly and we'll just clear that debris away and we'll do the same from the inside Now I have seen people say lubricate these but that's the last thing you want to do with this shutter assembly. You do not want to apply any lubrication to this, they must run dry. You might be able to just see there on the shutter blades there are some scratches which indicates that that sand or grit has been in this assembly for quite a while as it started to mark the blades as they go in and out. Well that looks as though we've got a good result because the lens shutters are now closing perfectly. Um, nice spring action on them and there's no stickiness we'll just go around that one more time so this is where a blower would come in but unfortunately I just cannot put my hands on my blower uh, it's normally in my repair box but I can't find it um, um, not being very tidy at putting things away now while we've got this lens shutter removed it's worth having a look around the lens itself and make sure there's no debris in the lens as these cameras are quite prone to gathering dust. So while the lens shutters are removed it's worth giving the lens a clean and first of all I'm just going to clean the front surface and the inside of that lens assembly. Again I'm doing it uh, downward so there's no dust or sand falling inside the camera. Now I'm going to inspect the lens surface. It looks quite clean. There doesn't seem to be uh, anything on there but while it's apart I'm just going to use the lens pen to circulate around there and clean off any fingerprints or dust which may have settled on the front element of that lens. They're working fine. So again with the lens extended just remove the battery to keep that lens out. We're going to reassemble the front bezel and I'm going to use some double sided tape. So I'm just going to cut two small pieces for the top and bottom of the lens. That's going to be the first piece. We'll place on the top of the lens. I'll just remove the backing paper. Like so. And then the lens bezel will just clip over the lens and I'm just going to smooth it down with the back of this brush to make sure that it adheres again to that double sided tape. Now this camera looks as it has been in the wars, it's got quite a few dings on the front of that fascia so we'll just reinstall the battery now and make sure that that lens retracts completely inside the camera that the bezel doesn't bind, that looks fine I've got some isopropanol lens tissue here I'm just going to try and clean up some of the fascia it has been uh, previously damaged so we're not going to get a perfect uh, finish but we'll try and improve the appearance of it
and then just check the camera is working fine. And that's it. So that's how to free up the lens shutter of the Panasonic Lumix travel zoom cameras, the ones which have the removable front bezel. Now later cameras like the TZ 1340 don't have that facility uh, and you've got to strip down the lens to enable you to get to the lens shutter. So that was a retrograde step in the manufacture of those lenses where it's so much easier to be able to uh, clean those lens shutters uh, by removing that front lens bezel. So that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Please do take care and I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye for now.